Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Gods of War, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Venom Mechs to the Venom Y in Beast from Beyond. So the first thing you're going to do after you have the Venom Mechs is go upstairs next to Bang Bangs and go over to this computer right here. You need to hold square on it and it will play Morse code. I'll have a link in the description to a Morse code decoder. You do need to know how to do this though, and once you have this written down, it's either going to come out as cross or archer. You need to decode your Morse code. Once you have that, you can head on down towards the bottom computer right here. And this one is a little bit easier because there's actually pauses in the Morse code. If you have Archer, it will start with what I have on the screen right here. If you have Cross, it will start with the one right below Cross. And at, just follow what I have written down along with that and write down what comes next. It's going to have a very long message. Just follow what I have. It will always start with that and then write down the remainder of your Morse code from this. I would recommend recording it somehow, maybe your phone, if you have Nelgato, use that. PlayStation recording if you're in solo, but just make sure you have your Morse code recorded and we can move on towards the next step. Okay, so for this next step, you need to go on a website. We have our Morse code if you have from that last computer, you wrote all of it down and you need to go towards this website right here. This is a Vigneer Cypher decoder. And once you're on the website, I'll have a link in the description to this. You need to go to this first section right here. And the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is change this to decrypt. If this is on encrypt, this will not work. So make sure you change it to decrypt. And then the next section, you're gonna type in your passphrase. Now mine was cross. It can either be cross or archer. This is from the first computer next to bang bangs. You need to just listen to the Morse code and decode it and get your passphrase. Make sure to type that in right there. And then finally, under the your message section, you are going to type in the Morse code from the second computer. It's not gonna make any sense. It's gonna be a bunch of gibberish, like mine, for example, is MZZDG. It doesn't make any sense. But once you have that typed in to the your message, your passphrase is correct, and you have it under decrypt, you will get this right here. And what this is gonna say is it'll say kill over X amount of cryptids. Now, right here, I wrote crypt, and then it's TVO. S. I messed up on the Morse code, but that does not matter at all. You, all you need to do is look at this little middle section right here, the middle number. Now it can either be 18, 15, 20, 25, or 30. You need to get this number, and this is all that you need for the next step. So just get this number right here. If, you're, if your thing is on decrypt and your passphrase is correct and you have your right message popped in, then you will get the kill over X amount of cryptids, and you will need this number for the next step, and this is how you do it. So again, link in the description towards this website, head over here and do exactly as I just showed you guys for the next step. Okay, so once you have your number, we will be able to move on towards the next step. And to do this, you need to head upstairs next to the bomb stoppers machine and there will be a computer back here. This is how you decrypt your Morse code. You need to type in the number that you got earlier. And here is all of the numbers already decrypted into Morse code. The button on the left of the computer is the little dot and the button on the right is a slash and you need to input the number into this computer. If you follow that little chart right there, that is what they all mean in Morse code. You don't have to decrypt them for yourself. That is all there for you. But after that, you can move on to the next step. And it will show, if you pull up the scoreboard, the Venom Y in the bottom corner and it will say 0%. What you need to do is you need to kill your amount of cryptids that you got from the Vigneer Cypher. Mine was 15, so I need to kill 15 cryptids and it does need to be with the Venom X. You can go into the pack image machine and come back out and this will spawn cryptids every time, or you can wait till the rounds where they spawn in. But once you have the amount that you need to kill, it'll go up to 100%. You can check it on the scoreboard. If you go into the pack punch area and you go up to the machine, you can now insert the Venom X and acquire the Venom Y. It does cost 5,000 points, but, but that is how you upgrade to the Venom why from the Venom X. But thank you guys so much for watching this and I will have a Venom Z guide coming out very soon. Until next time I'll see you guys later. Peace.